So it is a contrast of styles, but a tremendous uh, matchup between the regular season Sunbelt champions in Troy and the Alabama team out of the Who averages a double-double. Troy with a 6-6 game and a chance to take a lead inside Dunlap. With a jump hook, got it. Dunlap in the three Sunbelt Conference tournament games was Troy's lead. Seven point lead. Nearing the four minute mark of the opening quarter, Abrams. Wild pass goes right to Stevens, and she will just pick it up and convert. Just how they drew it up. 3 to 19. Mingo Young leads the free throw short. And Karanga back in the game, outlets it to Hartsfield. Baseline, ball fake, pull up jumper. Tia Johnson converts for Troy. The WNIT normally trends higher in points. We may see that the way this game has started so far. Five. Abrams out on the court, splits the defense. Tough layup with the left hand, Megan Abrams. She's got 15. Three on the way for Troy, off the mark by Walton. Rebound two, heading into the fourth. Off the deflection, Jemiah Mingo Young. She's got double figure rebounds again. Now they finally get it into the post to Karanga against Rice. Finally, Felmus is able to break through after the first quarter. Line jumper, that's a short, flat shot. Tia Johnson stops, pops free throw line, yes. And a timeout by Troy. Yeah, you look at the difference in the scoring, 15 points at the free throw line for Alabama, six for Troy. And there's a steal off the inbounds, leg it, lost it, got it, put it up, big bucket for the Trojans, and now it is interesting again. And there's a steal by Leggett. Leggett to the bucket. Wow. Time out, Alabama. And here come the Trojans. One possession game just like that in offensive court. Leggett hands it back to Robinson. Robinson crossover move to the bucket. Layup. They get in the lane, missed the shot, rebound Karanga. Troy down three, shot clock is dark, Karanga layup, got it! Karanga gets a quick shot off, gets a bucket, Troy has cut the lead to one, and Shanda Rigby 